We're beginning the B row, and this is the first block of the B row, and it is four circles on top of a square, all five whole pieces. And if you look at this, you kind of have to think, okay, well, then how am I going to make sure that these get into the right positions? And then the first thing you do is you're going to find the center of each side of the square. So the square is four and a half inches wide, so the center is at two and a quarter. Then you're going to find the center of that segment, which is at one and an eighth on each side. So you're going to do this on all four sides. And I've done this on my square here. So I've done all this and I've got this grid section. And what this is going to do, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to baste this down. Then I have these circles and I, what I did is I found the longest, the, the biggest portion of each side and drew a line to find the center. So that I can then take a pin and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've got to position those in four different sections. And those four sections are here, 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 and here. Those are the four circle locations. And so after I baste this square, I'm going to baste these circles. And I'm going to use a gathering stitch all the way around each circle and then pull them nice and snug and then thread baste them one more time. So I'll have these basted and I'm going to take my pin and I'm going to stick it between in this intersection and then I'm going to stick it in the middle of the circle. But it's going to be basted. So the first thing we're going to do is baste these all four of these pieces. So I've got my square basted and all four of my circles. So I'm going to take my square first, put a pin in the intersection that one of the circles goes into, take my circle and put it in the intersection of the center of the circle and put that on the pin. So then I'm going to push the pin all the way up, but making sure it's going to stay perpendicular to the paper, but I need to push it up to get it out of the way of my stapler. And then I staple it into place, which of course pushes my pin off to the side a little bit, but it should be not that big of a deal. So I'm going to do this with all four of these, and this is, i got to push these down because it didn't go through all the way. So then I'm going to take, let's go this one, through the intersection of the square, the intersection of the circle, if I can see it, uh, it's right about there. Push the pin through. Staple edge, and then we're going to repeat that. Oops, square first. Square first. Put this into here, and then this into here. to be. So the next thing to do is for me to applique these down. I'm going to applique these down with my black thread. So I finished the applique and I've removed my stitches and my staples from each circle and my B1 block is now completed. 